We all know caffeine keeps you awake, but a recent study from the University of Colorado at Boulder shows caffeine actually resets your body's circadian rhythms. Here to speak more on this is Dr. Alexandra Soa. Dr. Soa, it's great to have you here. You. So it's pretty general knowledge that caffeine can keep you up and keep you awake. What does this study tell us that's new? Right, so as anyone who's ever crammed for a test or prepared a big presentation knows, caffeine keeps you awake and alert. But what this study shows is that coffee not only keeps you wired, it actually rewires your body's intracellular pathways, disrupting your circadian rhythm. The same way that sunlight does that? Yes. It's, oh, interesting. In a very similar manner. And this is really important because circadian rhythm is our body's internal clock. It not only tells us when to go to bed and when to get up, but it also has control over hormones, body temperature, very important bodily functions. It's so interesting because as a reporter who's worked the overnight shift many times in my career, I drank a lot of coffee and it did help me stay up at night and sleep during the day. Yes, and as a doctor who's done a lot of night shifts, mm -hmm. I've experienced the same thing. And this study actually supports the idea that caffeine Yes, in, in large forms can be disruptive, but we might be able to harness it in medicine to help people who have circadian rhythm disorders. And so we might be able to use it in certain population like night workers yes. or people who are traveling internationally and need to reset their circadian rhythm quickly. Because the study isn't saying that caffeine is bad, it just needs to be used appropriately, right. correct? Because I, I certainly would not be on board with any study that says <laughs> I can't drink my coffee, I love my coffee. And coffee has <laughs> benefits, but we right. really need to make sure that we're taking in caffeine in moderation. So for the average adults, you should be drinking no more than three cups of coffee a day. And I'm not talking gigantic cups of coffee, I'm talking moderate size, eight ounce cups. And since we know this about the circadian rhythms, is there a time of the day we should stop drinking so yes. it doesn't affect our sleep? About six hours before your bedtime. Okay. But it's really important to note that caffeine is metabolized differently by different people, so you really need to pay attention to how you take it in and how you respond, and then adjust these recommendations Because everyone has an individual reaction to right. caffeine, very important. Do you have any other tips on getting a good night's sleep? I do, so in this busy world, it's really important to stay unplugged before bedtime. I want everyone putting away their devices about 45 minutes, because there are actually some studies that show that the, the light emitted from these devices also disrupts your circadian rhythm. Uh, we know all about that. No internet surfing in bed no. right before you go to sleep. Nope, <laughs> nope. And then also keep a set schedule. Get up and go to bed at the same time every day. And then finally, also watch out for the other things you're consuming. So not just caffeine, but alcohol. So people think that it helps with sleep. And although it might make you fall asleep, it disrupts your sleep cycle throughout the night and it just wreaks havoc. All sleep. right, so no caffeine after a certain hour and no alcohol to get you to sleep. Well, okay, Dr. Soa, thank you so much for that. <laughs>